Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing today? It's Wednesday, April 28th, 8.52 a.m. Just to give you guys a heads up, I'm going to be recording this pre-market prep, and I'm going to post it on YouTube later on for everybody to watch. There's a couple things that I want to cover in today's video. To kick things off real quickly, so far, futures are a little unchanged. They keep going back and forth from red to green. We're getting deeper and deeper into earnings. There's not really much gapping up on the gap scanners. What's been new? Stocks that have been in play for days on end. MVIS, PLBY, TKAT. Staying familiar with all the stocks that have been in play for days, weeks. That's what I'm going to continue to watch and play because that's where the opportunities are. Everybody keeps coming back to the same stocks over and over and over again. So until it breaks and the conditions change, when we start seeing new stocks popping up and taking off and running, I'm going to stick to what's been working. Am I right? So stick to what's been working. Be very observant as a trader. You're always scanning around what's going on the environment staying in tune with the market all right so yesterday last night before we all called it a day i shared a video with you guys in the traders lounge and i told you guys that i think you all need to hear this and i hope you guys all were able to watch it timothy sykes and timothy bowen last night I don't really keep in touch with them anymore, but when I was first starting out as a trader, I watched a lot of Timothy Sykes videos, a lot, and I got a lot of motivation from Timothy Sykes, and the way that I teach and I speak to you guys at times, I've picked up a lot of my techniques from this man. I got motivated from this man, so... I owe him a lot. This is where my humble beginnings began with Timothy Sykes. I do frown on some of what he does. Don't get fooled by this man. He is a marketing genius. He's not really going to teach you how to read charts and do technical analysis, but he's really good at fundamentals, breaking down a company and the OTC market picking out and showing you how to discover these scammy companies and on the shorting side. So you're not really going to learn much about price action and volume with this guy, but you will learn a lot with the fundamentals and just listening to this guy talk, you're going to get motivated because he hides no BS and he really truly speaks his mind at times. So last night, he did a webinar with Tim Bowen, and he had a lot of his students repost this video. And he talks about having patience. It's a process. All people want are trading strategies, and they want to complain that they miss out on these quick spikers. They miss out on opportunity. opportunity they want to complain. People don't want to study. They just expect things handed to them. If we look back at the past 10, 20 years, I even grew up in the past 10, 20 years. Everybody was awarded. It doesn't matter if you came in first place or last place. You got an award just for participating. That's just totally wrong. And everybody has that expectation that they're supposed to be rewarded something or they're supposed to be given something in the stock market it doesn't work like that you have to work your butt off to get where you want to be you're not just gonna things ain't just gonna happen and you're gonna be good overnight it takes a lot of hard work dedication it's almost like you have to obsess over this game to get it I kid you guys not, I lost my butt off for two and a half years straight. I wanted to quit so many times. I got frustrated with the market. I got frustrated with myself. 
I, but I did not quit. I continued to show up every day and I'd make mistakes. I'd feel stupid about it. I lost money, but what did I do? I kept funding my accounts, learning from my mistakes and carrying on. Sure, I've got burnt many times, many times on stupid stocks, getting FOMO, chasing after spikes, being last to the party, and getting that feeling, and I know the feeling, you're brand new, you don't know what's going on, and you, you feel like you're missing out. You don't know what the hot stock of the day is, and what everybody's paying attention to in trading. You, over time, you just start to get over that, and you start paying attention to what you want to pay attention to. You're going to get tired of looking at these top percentage gainers and figuring out that a lot of times they're overcrowded and they're the hardest stocks to trade are the number one gap stocks gapping up every day. The easiest money plays are going to be stocks that are in plays days after, weeks after they were hot. So... Wall Street, it's nothing but a business. Everybody's out here to make a buck. Everybody. Doesn't matter if they're a trader or a not a trader. Somehow they're going to figure out a way to turn a dollar in this game. Because there's a lot of naive people out there and people that don't want to do the work. and they want, They just want things handed to them. So there's a lot of stupid money in this game, guys. And you guys know me and my style. I try to be up front with you guys the best that I can and not hide any BS. There's just, you really have to work for this, guys. There's no other way around it. I can guide you guys in the right direction. I can help you lay out a set of rules. But it's up to you. You watching this video and listening to me talk. It's up to you to follow your own rules. If I, To be honest, I went through a cycle. I was doing good. I would consistently make profit, make profit. But then I would always run into that one stock. That stock that was super volatile. It was high risk, high reward. And I would get stubborn and stupid with it. And I would blow up my whole account and I would just destroy days, weeks, and months worth of work on one stupid stock. The hottest stock, the most volatile stock. Stocks that run from $20 to $80 in a day. And I would do that over and over and over again. And I'd just ask myself, why do I do this to myself? Now I have to start all over again and build back up. And what did I do? I would build up for a couple months and then I would run into that one big stock. That stock that would just go parabolic stupid on the day. And then I would keep trading it and get stupid. Stocks like stupid stuff like this. This U1 running from 2 to $8 or from six to forty dollars in a day i would get stupid on stocks like this and i would just destroy weeks and months worth of work of all those gains and profits that i would make and i'd feel so stupid and i'd have to start all over again and that just destroys your confidence it really does and i Finally learned after about four or five times of doing it that stay away from this type of stuff. Keep locking in profits. Keep sticking to what's working for you. Taking it a day at a time. This is like what Tim Sykes says in that little clip. This is a marathon, not a race. Always keep in mind that you want to be here tomorrow. All right? So that, that video got me a little pumped up last night because it's the truth. You're not entitled to anything. You're not entitled to profits. You're entitled to losing right out of the gates. 
you're not going to learn this game in a couple months. And I see people come into this server all the time. They quickly want to absorb everything as quick as possible. Watch everything as quick as possible. Like they're going to learn this whole process and game in a couple weeks or a couple months. And they're going to start pulling in money. It doesn't work like that. You're probably not going to gain consistency and understand this until about a year, two years into this. Now, don't get discouraged. But think of the long term. Once you learn this game, you're going to... You have this skill for the rest of your life. And you could use this skill anywhere around the world. Anywhere. And it's well worth all the studying, the late nights. It's going to pay off in dividends, as I like to say. It really is. I mean, just I'm an example right here for you guys. You guys see consistently every day I can pull in profits and very good profits. But it took me a long time to get up to this level. And I'm still building and working on myself. It's a never-ending process. So all that hard work, it will pay off. It will. And you'll be able to be self-efficient. You won't have to rely on me or anybody else in chat. And there's no better feeling than pulling in profit and money on your own. That's when you start feeling like your own. All right, so let's jump into the hot stocks of the day that I want to talk about that I'm going to be watching. So I just posted my watch list in the chat for you guys in the Tuesday chat. Top stocks on watch for me today. I'm watching TKAT, OCGN, PLBY, CLOV, BTX, GME, NKLA, MBIS, TIRX. Now let's cover these and go over these real quick. Yesterday we had a lot of good opportunities, guys. A lot of good opportunities. For an example, BTX here running from $15.50 all the way up to almost $30. Nice morning spike. Then we have that lunch hours consolidation. And then at the very end of the day, we got this nice ramp right before the close. This thing spiked really, really good. It even blew uh, my expectations of it out the window. So we got TKAT I want to talk about first. The past few days... I've been able to trade this and consistently pull money from it because I'm looking back at the past and I'm seeing the type of personality that the stock likes to have. It's clearly showing me multiple days here that it likes to spike. One, two, three, four straight days here spiking in very good spikes, at least $10 spikes to the upside beside yesterday but this is getting really really tight right here at this 32 dollars this thing could easily rip right back up to 34 35 you guys have also been following this stock with me the past few days so you guys know as well how this stock likes to move and don't get freaked out if you're a new type of trader be cautious with your size because we've seen this stock. It likes to move like Koss did back uh, when GameStop was really moving. It likes to rip up real fast and then slam down real hard. And if you're chasing after a stock like this and you're market ordering in and out, you're just asking to get a horrible fill. And that's another quick topic that I get asked about a lot is when should I be using market orders and limit orders just remember if you use a market order and you're going to complain about your price that you got filled at that's your own fault technically speaking a market order if you send it to your broker you're telling your broker i don't care what price i get filled at 
just get me in or get me out. So how are you going to complain about a market order when you're sending it to your broker? How is the broker going to know at specifically what price you want in at? Does that make sense? So learn the inner workings of this game. Know what you're doing. Once you do that, you have the advantage over somebody that doesn't know anything about that. And there's a lot of stupid money in this game, guys. There are a lot of stupid people out here that just throw their money into the market. No fucks given. So if you learn and understand how the mechanics work in this, you already have an edge over your opponents. You don't have to be and be the best or outsmart the smartest people in this game you just want to ha know enough to take advantage of the people that don't have that experience and that are just throwing their money into this game or piggybacking as i like to say all right so next up we got ocgn ocgn few days ago had massive massive volume it was the top stock friday monday it didn't really do too much of anything and then yesterday it pulled back in the morning but at the end of the day this thing started to come back and it bounced off of ten dollars and ran all the way up to 12 so it's still near its highs it's technically yeah it's at the back side of its move potentially but it's still near its highs. If this thing gets back over $13, shorts are underwater. So put an alert at 13. If this thing crosses over 13, this thing is easily back in play. That's when I will be interested in it, is if this stock comes back up and pushes up to new highs. So OCGN on watch. PLBY, Playboy. I mean, just a beast. Days on days on days on days on days. I mean, every single day, this stock performs. So it's the longer it keeps holding up above this 50 bucks, and you guys know how much Playboy just likes to bounce like a bunny. So this thing's a beast. Keep it on watch. I mean, this thing. Look at it. Morning dip down to 49 Rips all the way up to $55. That's a $6 move to the upside. Comes down. Bounces off the VWAP here at 52 Runs back up $3, $4 to $55.56. So a lot of opportunity on Playboy here. And it's still hitting all-time new highs. DLOV. I like this one. It's uh if you look at that daily chart. Let me drag it over. Here on the daily chart, you have the 13 EMA coming right up to the 50 day moving average, forming a nice little squeeze here. So look for that to carry over into the stock on the intraday time frame, pushing it up to $10. Ten dollars plus. I like it. This thing has room to run all the way up to this uh, two hundred day moving average here at eleven dollars. Yeah, I like it. Nice, nice little squeeze moving average play going on there with the daily chart. It's already getting a perk up pre-market right now, running up to 950. I'm not going to chase uh, chase it r right out of the gates. I'd like to see it pull back down to that 920s, potentially build off of that. BTX, as much as this thing ran yesterday, you best believe this caught a lot of people's attention. They're like, wow, this thing ran from 21 
to $28, I can make good money if a stock has range like that. And it's still lingering around, hanging up above 20. So I like this stock if it keeps holding up above 20 bucks. I think it could set up some good opportunities today, for sure. GameStop. If you scroll out on this uh, chart here, from yesterday, it's just been selling off. And just look at it. It's looking pretty good. Like it's setting up. Like it's gearing up. I like stocks that have a, a sharp pullback like this. When you could just simply draw a trend line and connect all the lower highs. It's gearing up for something. So this could fall to the downside. Or if it breaks that trend line, this could get a nice surge. And we could see GameStop run up to $200. We know it's capable of doing that. So keep GameStop on watch along with... Koss, K-O-S-S. Now, this is for more experienced traders. If you're brand new, I wouldn't recommend trading Koss. That's just my personal opinion. NKLA. NKLA just had a big downtrend here for months, weeks. Now it's just starting to perk right back up. It's gearing up for its next potential leg up. So up from, it's currently at $12.50. If this gets over $13, this thing could have a nice little run on it. If you were around six months a year ago, you all know NKLA has a history of running. Traders remember stocks that like to run. Remember that. The stock pops up and they see it ran in the past. They'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. That NKLA, it ran for days. Stocks have personalities. And they have memory. MVIS. This was just a beast recently. Yesterday, pulled back all day. It's already starting to perk up pre-market. Watch for a potential good bounce today on MVIS. You know a lot of people are going to be watching this stock. And this is where the smart money's hanging out. As I like to preach and practice this saying over and over again. This is where the smart money is, guys. The smart money ain't watching the top percentage gainers like ADMA, like this. You know, there's too much overhead resistance on it. Look at the daily chart on CRTD. You have the 100 day and a 50 day moving average right there at 450 and 475. So you're going to be running into a wall. Other people seeing that. They're not going to want to buy into that. Same thing with ADMA. It's gapping up. But if you look at the daily. Look at how much resistance it's got to get through. It's going to run into a wall here at $2. Then it's going to run into another wall here at $2.15. Then it's going to run into another wall at $2.30. Then it's going to run into another wall at 250. So it just has way too many resistant levels to get through. People ain't going to want to waste their time with that. They want stocks with the less traveled resistance. What else? TIRX. This thing finally bounced yesterday. It may bounce today. I really don't know. <clears throat> it's not one of my favorite plays. But I will still watch it for any potential opportunity. From $14 to $22. This thing finally bounced 
after that big sell-off. So this just goes to show you guys, when stocks have big sell-offs, they don't have to necessarily bounce immediately. It could take a couple days, it could take a week, it could take a couple weeks, heck, it could take a month. Uh, TIRX, it took from April 12th to April 27th. So it took about three weeks for this stock to finally bounce. And then that's it. That's all the stocks I have on watch, guys. So we got 12 minutes before the market opens. All of those stocks, as of right now, those are my favorite stocks. We'll see what pops up on the scanners today. Remember, we're in earnings season. So every single day, we're going to enter into more companies putting out earnings. Let's see how many companies are putting earnings out today. We go to the calendar. We have 99 companies putting earnings out before the open. And we have 166 companies putting out earnings after the close. Tomorrow, we have almost 200 companies putting earnings out before the market even opens. 155 after the close. So we're right into the heart of earnings. So keep that in mind. Volume's going to be distributed everywhere in the market. Make that money, lock it in. Don't overstay your welcome. Don't, don't get caught up in trading during lunch hours. That's when you get chopped up, you run into algo trading, and you give back profits. What are we all here for, guys? We're here to make money, right? So if we make that money, we did our job. You have the rest of the day to enjoy do whatever you want. That's the freedom and the benefits of doing this. You show up, you make good money in a couple hours, then you have the whole day to do whatever you want. Watch other people go work a 10 hour day to make what you just made in an hour. Un unlimited possibilities in the stock market, guys. Unlimited. This is the best job in the world. Best job, period. So get pumped, get motivated. During lunch hours, study, sit down, take notes, monitor your thoughts. Take it one day at a time, guys. Accept and trust the process. Do not rush this. There's a statistic 90% of traders blow up their accounts within the first 90 days and then they quit. Don't be another statistic. Let's get out there, guys. Have a great day. Let's wait for those great A-plus setups. Remember, we're not just chasing after setups and stocks right out of the open. Let the easy plays come to you. If a stock is tradable, it will show you it's tradable. It'll kick you in your shins, and it'll blow air horns in your face. Trade me. You will know when a stock is tradable. Do not force trades. Alright guys, let's get out there. Let's have an awesome day.